I studied animation at Duncan of Jordanston in Dundee, which I loved. But after I graduated, I wanted to go in a different direction. I came back to Glasgow and found an internship with a graphic design studio. I also volunteered at a filmmaking charity, and it was there that I learned my camera skills. I've been at Scottish Valley for nearly 10 years, unbelievably. In the early days, the job was mostly graphic design, but over the last decade, social media has meant that more and more of my time is making behind the scenes documentaries, trailers, and excitingly, creative dance films. One of the first creative dance films that I did was a collaboration with Sophie Laplan. I took her to Irvine Beach and she improvised and I filmed. Got a spectacular sunset. Money could not have bought that sunset. That really kicked off the creative filmmaking side of things for me. Most recently I've been doing a film called Frontiers, which is a collaboration with Miles Stature, who's a dancer and choreographer at San Francisco Ballet. It's part of the digital season 2019. One of my proudest moments, and actually it was a big surprise, was how well Maze was received. Maze, again, was really low budget. Me and a camera and Govan Hill Bath and two freezing dancers. There was snow coming through the roof and they were so good. Sophie Laplante and her wonderful, wonderful choreography. I was pleased with it, but I didn't know how well it would be received. One day, suddenly I had all these emails. Vimeo had picked it for a staff pick. I've been so proud of how far that's gone and how well it's been received. I love working for Scottish Ballet. The combination of design and film is something that's perfect for me. Each season has its own look and feel. The brief is ever-changing, which stops you getting bored. The opportunity to work closely with dancers and choreographers is just something that you don't come across often in the working world. When I graduated from animation, I really enjoyed my time, but I didn't think those skills would come in useful in the career that I wanted to follow. But as time has gone on, and I've moved more into filmmaking, and graphic design itself has moved more into motion design, those skills have become useful again. So I'd say, even if you're not quite sure where your career is going, as long as your heart is in what you're doing and you're creatively inspired by it, then keep doing it, because nothing is a waste.